Welcome to Scale Models, I'm Jason, your host, and I do models and Nintendo Switches. Today we are going to do a quick video of installing a new kickstand. I got these kits from eBay. It's a kickstand. They are ridiculously expensive. I need to buy them on AliExpress. I had originally bought just some kickstands and they didn't come with the part I needed. So I'm going to show you what's the part I needed and then we're going to show the install of uh, this kickstand. This is the part right here that was giving me issues. So we are going to install that on this switch and then this switch is sold. So it needs to go out uh, to tomorrow. Today is Sunday. This needs to ship out on Monday. So we have us a switch here. We have a we have our drivers. We have our Y-Wing driver and we have our uh, Phillips driver, so Y-Wing is red, so we're going to take out the middle screw with our Phillips of the rail side, the middle screw on this side, middle screw on that side, and then we're going to take out our Phillips on the top and bottom. These are non-magnetic, so keep those separate. If you ever get one of these in that has the non-magnetic screws installed, or magnetic screws installed, you know that somebody has definitely been in there. So these screws are very easily mixed up. And then we're going to have a Phillips in the back of the, by the SD card reader on the case. So that is that. So let us take these four Y wings out here and we'll get this back case off and we will open up our kickstand and install it so I don't recommend buying just plain kickstands anymore because this is the second time I ran into this issue so we're gonna get this back case off we're gonna rem we're gonna move our switch out of the way. We don't need that anymore at the moment. Put that away right there, and we're gonna come in here. We're gonna flip this over, and this is the bracket that is bad. And if I come in here and I grab this kickstand here, and I pop it in this kickstand, it just pops right out because this section right here is bad. So we are going to get our Phillips and we're going to take out this piece here. Keep our screws separate. Now I had bought some back cases, but it comes with these pieces missing. So this is the piece here that is all wore out. So this is the new piece in this box here. comes with simple set of instructions to change it so yep so let us see here so so this is metal so it's definitely going to last longer comes with a kickstand on it so we're going to put our, our screws in here this won't be as fast as my Joy-Con drift but this is an all-in-one unit they run about nine dollars if you buy one at a time but if you're fixing these often you can buy three and then you have the kickstand that locks on there so that is that it's one piece so now we can put the unit back together so get our switch back and we will place our we'll get our, get our y-wing screws here and we will put these back into the unit the 
and I always um, when I sell a unit I always make sure everything is in uh, good condition I always make sure the screen has no scratches on it at least no major scratches on it if it does I change the digitizer they only run me uh, a little bit less than ten dollars and a little bit of work to change them to make it have a scratch free screen so it is worth it um, in the sale of the device um, sometimes I don't make back the full ten dollars but you know if it's going to a child you know they get it scratch free you know a lot of times kids they break their they break their their units and their parents need to replace it and they get a unit that is all scratched up so This is to replace a broken unit for somebody locally and um, the customer says that they're going to try to sell the broken unit on, on eBay. Um, but if it doesn't sell the, if it doesn't sell by the time I ship this out, um, they are, they're willing to make a trade. And I'll take some money off for their broken one that has no power and a scratch screen. So, you know, I'll knock I'll knock eighty dollars off the price and get a no power unit and work on the next one. So, get this cleaned up. There we go. So now we have a switch ready to go. The kickstand has been fixed. It's a good match. And it's actually better than factory. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this video on changing a kickstand. Here is the links to social media. Links to my Patreon page if you so choose. There are Switch documents up there um, with no need to sign up or pay any money. It's just there to download at any time and it's updated bi-weekly. So thank you so much and have a fantastic day.